Hey, folks, welcome to In the Money Stocks. Dot com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Tuesday, July 16th, 2019. Well, what a day on Wall Street, folks. S&P down a little. That's not the story of the day. The story of the day is APRN, which we just picked up last Friday. Uh, again, look at this move, folks. Holy cow. I wish I held it the whole way. We ended up taking about a 28% profit on this, but whoa. Think about that, folks. This chart told you this was going to go. All right, look. Friday, you peaked above the 20 moving average right there. That was the signal. You had a pause day yesterday. Kaboom, up 53%. This is actually down already from 1365. We had it in the research center. If you're a member, you just made thousands of dollars. Um, why aren't you a member? I mean, this is this is not a, a, a rarity here. This is something we do almost daily with profits in the research center. Members, again, cleaning up, folks. This is just awesome, awesome stuff. I have some new charts I want to show you, but I wanted to tell you about that one because I am proud that our members continue to make money. I want to give you guys a couple uh, new stocks that I'm watching. Uh, one of them is Bed Bath Beyond. I really like this chart, folks. As long as it holds the bottoming tail low. See this bottoming tail right here? The retrace starting to inch up. As long as it holds that low, this is a beautiful chart. You also have a classic double bottom right here. Look at that double bottom. So again, good support on Bed Bath Beyond. This could be a mover to about the $13 level in the coming week or weeks. Keep an eye on that one. All right, so that's a beautiful chart setup as well. Another one of my favorites is Sohu consolidating, making a micro bullish pattern. A little bit of an uptick. Sideways, one, two, three, four, five days of sideways action. Uh, this is a beaten down China name that is down way too far. If you remember the call I made on NEO when it ran above $4, this was a great buy. We bought it $2.52, and look at the run it had. So we bought right over here, and it ran all the way to $4 before pulling back. That was an awesome trade right there. That was a Chinese name. Uh, this NEO is actually a bigger company market cap-wise than Sohu, but I'm a big fan of Sohu, folks. I just think it's been beaten down. Things in China aren't quite as bad as most people believe they are, and you'll start to see that. In fact, I'm hearing chatter in the media about that that in the recent days as well. Um, recently, we've seen Alibaba start to make a move up. And again, I expect after the rate cut in July, at the end of this month, you're going to start hearing positive trade stuff as well, which will be very positive uh, for the overall uh, Chinese stock. So watch Sohu, one of my favorites. The key is you want to see a close above 14, which is the 20 moving average. It does that. You're going to go test these recent highs around 14 and a half to 15. If it gets through there, it's going as high as 18. And again, it's not a very thick stock, 173,000 traded today. So be aware that this thing can move fast. I mean, it's basically got the same type of volume structure as APRN. Um, and you saw that that's, that was up like 75% today in one day. All right, so that's interesting there, folks. I do think there are some great shorting opportunities. It's amazing because there's some great longs and also some great shorts out there. Uh, some of my favorite shorts right now, Starbucks. Starbucks in the stratosphere. This, I mean, think about this. I mean, Starbucks is a great company. Don't get me wrong. But look at this move. I mean, you're talking about uh, basically a year ago, this thing was trading at 47 bucks, and it's now at 90 I mean, that's to me, that's a little outrageous. And... The short-term move is extended here as well. You should see this pull back to about $85 to $80 in this range, um, and that could happen very, very quickly. Um, another stock that I like on the short side, um, really all the credit card stocks. American Express, way overdone. Um, Visa, MasterCard, let's take a look at Visa. Visa starting to come in today. That should continue. I have a target short-term on Visa down to about $165. MasterCard, if we take a look at MA. Um, that stock's starting to come in as well. That stock should trade all the way down to about the 260 area right in this range, uh, 50 MA. And you got these pivot highs right here. Um, this is a great short here on MasterCard as well. What I love about the, the credit card companies as shorts is, first of all, they've run way too much, but also... You're gonna. You start. You heard of chatter about this a couple months ago from some of the the presidential, future presidential candidates. But I even think it's a it's a win for both Republicans or Democrats, whichever one wants to take it on. Or maybe it'll be bipartisan, which would be awesome. But you'll see a talk of capping credit card interest rates. I mean, think about credit card interest rates are like borrowing from the mob. I mean, they're charging you twenty five percent, thirty percent. I mean, it's crazy. And I'm not saying they shouldn't charge a little bit more, but can you you know? What about a 10% interest rate? You know, like, you know, it's just it's a little outrageous. So if you start hearing about that, I mean, this is how these companies make money now. I mean, they just charge up the wazoo to their customers who don't pay off their balances. And in all fairness, you could argue that it's not right. Uh, and I do think it becomes a talking point during the election in the next year in 2020. So be aware, these stocks could be cut by 50% 
from those levels. I do think that is a possibility. Be aware of that, okay? All right, guys. I gave you some ideas. I talked about some profits. Come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com. We're just crushing it. I mean, you could just take a look at the Research Center track record. It's it's the most amazing thing you'll ever see. Um, we just continue to knock it out of the park. I can show it to you real quick here. Bear with me as I get my screen up so I can show it to you here. But, um, you know, here's, here's our website, InTheMoneyStocks.com. Just go right here, Research Center track record. There's the APRN, 27.5% today, uh, 11, 10, 5, 2, 7, 18. I mean, these, this is just, I mean, this is just incredible. We've had such a great streak. There are a couple losers on there because obviously, you know, anyone who tells you they're perfect, they're, they're lying to you. So we do have some losers, but I mean, look at how few losers and what are they are, 3%, 2%, almost 3, 2. And then compare it to 27, 11, 10, 5, 7, 18, 7, 10, 11, 10, 10, 11. I mean, all the way down. Think about the profits in your portfolio if you were knocking this out of the park with us. So I encourage you to get over here, join the uh, In The Money Stocks, take the seven-day free trial. Once we launch our new website, by the way, no more free trial. So this is kind of the last gasp of it probably for the next month until we launch. Get in there, test it out if you want, um, but we're just making money. So it's a matter of, you know, just ask yourself if you want to make money. All right, guys.